this is a little P Metallica. I see some bolus in there I'm going to grab. I very much doubt that this one will be interested in any prey. But we can give it a try. Well, there you go. I was wrong. Got to see a little bit of something. Here I have my little Centroides Vitatus. This is the striped bark scorpion. And if you remember from a previous video, I got this one off of Craigslist. It was in a shipment all the way from Texas. And it's doing very well. It's grown quite a bit. Probably is not going to eat on camera. It usually eats in secret. Looks very round right now. So it's either going to molt or who knows. But that is quite a round little scorpion. So it's got this pre kill roach in here. It's got this little burrow down there. It's looking for its cork bark. I took it out, so I'm going to go ahead and put that back. Here's my little piece, Sazamai. I think this is a female. And she molted quite a while ago, a couple weeks at least. So she's very skittish. Um, I would think she would be hungry by now. Looks like she is. She's going to go after that. There we go. She caught it. She was hungry. So maybe you can see this fuzzy little one right there. This is the Heteropoda David Bowie. <laughs> that was fun. Eating her lunch. There we go. Ooh, look at those fangs. That's better. sure where she thinks she's going but I'm gonna go back in come on yeah I know you just want to kick me out of your way but I need you to go back inside come on <laughs> oh boy <laughs> Eh, she doesn't like me doing that. Nope. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> She's dropped her food, and I farted around and let her go. So, now I have to catch her before she goes up the curtain or something. But Looks like we are going to have a little bit of teleporting going on. At least there's some excitement for once. Probably doesn't want to go back into her enclosure now that she's out and she dropped her food. 
Probably not interested in that anymore either because she's mad at me. <laughs> All right, come on. All right, here we go. <laughs> Poor girl. I think I pushed her limit a little bit. There she is. Look at her. I'm going to transfer her back into her cage. She was not very happy with me. She's giving me some huntsman threat poses. She might just come screaming out of here. Come on, girl. You know, she's upset with me. I don't want to use the tongs, but I might have to. Come on, let's go out. Come on, that's good. There you go. Just pushing her very gently. And remember, they have those little claws on the ends of their feet, so they like to cling on to things that we can't even see. Somehow I get lucky and I seem to drop these things in just the right time. This is my little Peak and Sarities turd. And uh, she is probably hungry. <clears throat> she um, is very beautiful. Her plant needs water as well, so. I'm gonna be getting some better lighting. I'm very thankful for that. So, she'll be able to improve the quality of my videos. The room I'm in is not very bright, and <clears throat> my ought light that I was using when I first began has started to fall forward. The hinge is not secure anymore, so I have to prop it on something. And then the other light is just not strong enough. So I'm going to fix that and hopefully be able to give you much better shots of these guys. I love the Formictopus species. I have several of them. The others are slings. Um, can't wait till they grow up, but it's also a pleasure watching them grow. I have quite a collection now, and um, you know, it's it's a matter of a lot of, of my tarantulas growing larger and, you know, the feeding videos being more exciting because of that. At this time, there's so many small ones. And some of the larger ones are new worlds that tend to fast, so I don't always get as many exciting takedowns. She's getting pretty big. I 
remember, I think it was her last molt sometime during the summer. Boy, she gained size really quick. Yeah, she is always out. Very good display tarantula. Definitely one you need to watch your fingers around. But she's beautiful. She's not just some brown tarantula. She is, I don't even know how to describe it. Um, pink, she's pink. She's a sable color. Her femurs are a little bit darker. She has very light stripes on her knees. Her chelicerae are pink and sable. Very gorgeous. Very active, very quick to take food. Pretty exciting. I remember when I was not too far into the hobby, I was really excited about getting this one. I was, I was on the edge of my seat wondering, can I handle it? Can I handle it? There were so many species that came up that the question always was, will I be able to handle this one? Will I be able to handle the next one? And I suppose it was kind of a thrill to move on and see which beautiful tarantulas would come next. Here we have a C. meridionalis. Uh-oh, that little guy made a mistake. All righty. I'm hoping to avoid the action that occurred earlier with the heteropoda David Bowie with my Heteropoda boi, my lichen huntsman. Um, please don't escape. Ooh, there you go. I don't like it when I get the tongs in the way and then scare them and they, they think that it's something else and not prey and they let go. We had a little bit more action after I turned the camera off. Unfortunately, I didn't catch it, but you can see the heteropoda boi on the bottom. The left-hand corner of the enclosure. It just pounced down onto the prey. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay then. Your food's down inside. That was exciting. In this case, I just waited for the little one to go back into its burrow. Instead of freaking out, the Cyanognathus signing out. PCC's green femur. Here we 
have a certain someone who is not our friend. This is the Ornithoctonus areotibialis. If we are very lucky, he or she will come out. See the little one coming? It's not a happy tarantula. Look at that beauty. Wow, wow, wow. 